Here's number five of our conversation with Joseph Williams of Toto. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Gary Rankin. John, I'd like to know what his thoughts were regarding being a contestant on Star Search. I did see that. What was that like? What was that experience like? That was a, you know, that was a weird time. I mean, it was a different time in, 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 in Hollywood, quote unquote, and in our business and all that kind of stuff. And I was, I was a, you know, I was a gig child when I, you know, since I didn't go to college and I decided that I wasn't going to go into the military, which was one of the options. I obviously looked, started looking around for gigs and started to get jobs. And one of the jobs I got was in a show in Las Vegas where I was imitating other singers and I worked there for almost a year. And while I was in that show, some of the producers from Star Search came and scouted a few of our singers to come be on the show. And so that's how I, they found me. And that's how I agreed to, I came, I left Vegas and came back to LA and was on Star Search and, uh, and went up against a couple of guys and won a few times and then got all the way to the quarterfinals and lost. But it, it, it was, you know, the, the, the star search for people who don't know was very much like we have the voice these days and, and, and America's most talented, that, that kind of thing. But it was different in that, you, you know, you would get up there and you would sing a performance and then the, ju- the panel of judges were actually people from the record industry that nobody in the world would know. It would be just like, you know, no people with no telegenic quality. They, they, they weren't supposed to comment and make comments with, you know, and spend a lot of time talking about the artist or whoever, like the shows they do nowadays. It was simply like a grade. I give you a three out of a four. I give you a four out of a four. And they would add up those those uh, uh, those scores, and that's how you would win each week. It was truly like a competition kind of a thing. And at the time, I was so grateful for it because it gave me something to do when I came home from doing the show in Vegas. It was like, if you win, it's a thousand bucks every time you come on. And I was like, great. So I was so so I was all all up for it for that. And um, I got lucky enough, I won a few times, but then got towards the end with the guy who really, really, you know, deserved to win. And he did. Whatever happened to him? He's around. He became like a Broadway, uh, a Broadway uh, a, a sort of famous fixture. Uh, Sam Harris is his name. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, he was an incredible singer back then. I mean, he could, he could sing circles around all of us guys that were out there trying to do. He was a naturally gifted very sort of big Broadway-ish kind of singer, and he used to, he used to sing a, he used to sing a version of "Somewhere Over the Rainbow," which used to bring the house down, and so it was like there was no way he was going to lose. But uh, but it was it was great fun to go on there and try. And I, I I used to I went on there and did like Kenny Loggins tunes and Stevie Wonder tunes and stuff that I, stuff that I knew that I thought I could sing. 